Hello, Big Eats. My name is Ayers, and I'm playing Minecraft today. How's everyone doing? Hopefully doing all right. So, uh, I'll continue the tradition. No new updates on the server software. Uh, I think we've had quite a few people over, over the last week or so. Um, server seemed to strain a little bit. I think part partly to that might be just of how people are expanding on what machines are building. Um, but we're working through it. Um, no, no big changes, no big, you know, impacts on people's gameplay. So yay for that. Uh, no new updates on my client. So running the Forge client um, due to the fact that I'm running the CCI integration with Twitch. Um, I do have an update on that. Um, managed to add a couple of fireworks for follows, subscribers, uh, I believe even bits uh, are used on the channel. So uh, all the previous integrations are still there. Want to be a chicken in the world. Want to make me go blind, want me to, make flip, um, want me to float, want to slow me down. All those integrations with uh, the channel points still exist. I did update some of the icons on there. Um, and then uh, for channel announcements, believe we're, let's see, five or six away from uh, sub points to unlock a new emote. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I've got a couple of emote ideas um, floating around and playing around in, in Photoshop as a couple of drafts. So yay on that front. All right. So as per normal, let's go ahead and turn down game music. Let us get some background music going. And if it's too loud, people just need to let me know. If it's too soft, people need to let me know. And let's make sure we get proper credit. Oop, top left hand corner. Oh, uh, one final thing. I was playing around with picture in picture um, in the top right hand corner. Um, I am still playing around with that. Um, working with a couple of OBS plugins to see if we can get a nice transi transition between uh, the main game source and the picture in picture source. So hopefully that will be coming in future streams. Oh, what do we have online? We've got Bear, Glitter, Tinks, Phantom, Ienix, Derek, and Tinks. Sleepy Tinks is her alt account. Tinks is her main account. Um, and then Signal Frequency is my alt account. It is not on at the moment. Um, I have not had the need for it. But we're going to go ahead and jump right in here. Ooh, look at that nice, uh, nice blue sky. Oh, no, no. All right. Hey ho. All right. So where do we leave off? Last stream, we uh, kind of left off literally at the end of the stream, finding a new uh, adventure, uh, visiting. <coughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> right back at you guys. Um, by the way, for folks who aren't aware, that is because I typoed a Haya with a w, uh, w, not w, a Y instead of an H, and it became yeah. Hey, Derek, <laughs> how's it going? All right. Um, so last stream, I was talking about making sure we've got the supporting uh, villagers for our shop, our bookstore. Um, as you can see, I've been busy filling all these stalls, um, gave proper signage and put little ASCII arrows to top to your top leveled um, uh, enchantment trades. So loyalty three, there's not higher than loyalty three. Um, that way I can quickly kind of glance over these and know which ones are the top tier. Well, the issue ran, I ran across is this was not enough. And I talked about doing the other side or above. Well, here's the other side. Um, you see a couple of random empty stalls here and there. Um, that is because once I've gotten trades for like, look at this dude, look at this dude. Four top tier trades, power five, depth strider, three, knockback two, and loyalty three, which means he bumped off a couple of different uh, villagers. So it opened up a couple of slots. Um, so I've been swapping in villagers back and forth, uh, getting that in place, getting them in place so they can support our, our bookstore. And my latest, uh, where's my latest dude? <laughs> uh, for a second there, I thought uh, that reflection off that water, I thought, thought, thought there was a name tag up there. Oh, fire protection. So that is, this is my latest dude. Um, I do not have him. I don't have fire protection in our bookstore. So we're going to go ahead and grab a couple of those. 
Where's my shulker box? And what I've been doing is bringing over just one rove uh, anytime a new enchantment got unlocked. That way I can at least stock the store. All right, so he wants some emeralds, a book for fire, fire protection. I believe we've got that. Yeah, this has been my trading box. I've been trading uh, emeralds for lanterns and glass to level them up and sometimes paper because that's usually the initial trade. Uh, bookshelves is a nice trade-off because I can purchase bookshelves, then break them with a fortune axe to get more books out of them. And the books can be traded uh, back to uh, emeralds, emeralds. Yeah, so you see the cycle that's going on here. Uh, Paper is coming from our sugarcane farm. I set up obviously this little collection system to harvest that. But let's go ahead and get our little delivery set up. And then we're gonna do something a little bit different today. That'll be kind of a fun, silly stream. We'll be working in uh, around our seaside little cottage village area today. All right, fire protection. Let me grab nine of these. And this is actually a pretty decently priced one too. Uh, compared to some of my other trades, have been very expensive. So what I've been doing, grabbing nine, and that's good enough to get the uh, the store at least initial stocked. Mm, make sure I'm not missing uh, just spare blocks. Let's go ahead and drop the bl spare blocks off. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and head the spawn real quick. Yep. No, I'm good. Didn't do anything. Uh, I did add something new to um, over here. Uh, I've been flying between our villager breeder, our our zombie purification thing constantly. I've gotten really good from flying over there to over there on this other side. It's almost like a Star Wars, you know, a ravine run. Uh, I also added this cat catwalk literally about 30 minutes ago. Just wanted to see how it felt. You know, uh, kind of that catwalk industrial feel. I mean, there's not a lot of detail to it, but, you know, uh, I have uh, I plan on taking this all the way across because I'm going to have more machines and contraptions on that side eventually. And since the portal's right there, it does bug me that's off-centered, but technically I could move it over if I wanted to, but it's fine. Not that too worried about it. Okay, let's head to spawn to our bookstore and drop off a couple of things. And while I'm going through the portal, I'm gonna grab some of my water. Mmm, hydration. Hello, sir. Enjoying the uh, nice nether heat. I can see, you know, you're kind of on the... Uh... I guess he was done with his vacation. All right, well, where am I at? Portals over there, which means I need to be facing this way. Uh, I don't... I believe there's one new portal that's popped up since last stream. Um, Derek and Wisdom created a new portal for, I believe, in their area because of uh, the big build that uh, Derek has been working on. I don't know if anyone else has built any additional portals up here. I think that's the only recent one. Mm, you have a new portal at your new... Okay, so... Yep, okay. Got it, got it, got it. Uh, yeah, Tink... Right, Tink's is, uh, is the one with the, the torch path between the industrial district and, uh, and my home portal. All right, let's go ahead and drop this delivery off. And I will also show off a little bit how I've done the signage in here. Uh, so I updated these signs uh, because I was playing around with ASCII characters and whatnot. And so they're a little more prominent on what section you're walking into. And you can see over there, over there. And then I added these little sort of, you know, this way for these sections. Um, this way for those sections and finally what we're going to find down the, the main hallway here 
Um, so as you can see, I carried that over uh, with smaller um, sort of decorative boxes uh, for ASCII art. But yeah, I've got, you know, the smite. As you can see, uh, name, level, and then cost is how I've been doing this. And any anyone that has an actual sign on it, I, it should have inventory in it. Um, so I've just recently uh, put these in here. Uh, we are dropping off fire protection. And while I do that, let me make sure I can pull up the ASCII arts real quick. Uh, craft special characters. Uh, there was one particular site I was using that worked, has been working really well for me. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, uh, so I got helmets over here. I've got boots on this side and this entire wall is all around, uh, um, the rest of the armor pieces. So boots, legs, uh, chest, and helmet. Come on. Why is that double clicking not working? Really? All right, fine. Uh, so on this side, we are missing projectile protection is the only one I'm, I'm working on next uh, with our with our villagers. Um, I've had a couple of one, two, and threes, but not any fours. So it happens. Oh, that's power three. Uh, let me see, copy this character. And just to make sure, uh, fire protection, okay. Why is that character not copying? Come on. Control copy. There we go. Uh, and this should be four, and I've been using this special character. Burp. And uh, I believe, uh, we'll just do three for now. <laughs> these prices are subject to change based on demand, but uh, I've been putting all these at three. Uh, some of them, yeah, soul speed's at two. Uh, smite and sharpness I put up same with sweeping edge um, those are pretty key big damage dealer ones um, and people don't need a ton of them is the kind of way I was looking at it but you know I can I can lower enough or up, up, up that price so I'm not worried about it we'll see what the people need all right let me pick this up that's our spare shulker but yeah um Here's unbreaking, mending in the back and under the uh, universal section, since it can be applied to multiple different types of things. Uh, our combat, crossbow or uh, bow section. We've got the four enchantments for those. Crossbow missing. Oh, no, I, I think I, should, I got all the crossbows. And then the two curses. I think I'm only missing one armor which is pure, uh, projectile protection. Uh, tools, that's all taken care of. Oh uh, yeah, uh, again, missing the trident currently. Um, we are missing impaling, I believe. Yep. So I've only, I haven't gotten the top tier impaling yet. And then fishing, if people wanna grab some uh, fishing enchantments. Oh yeah, bookstores officially open. Oh, and I ended, added uh, an ender chest in here. So I'm going to call that done. Uh, I did work on a road, not this one, uh, a road design in my creative world. Post a couple screenshots on Discord and just to see uh, what people's opinions were around that. And we'll just kind of go from there. Okay. Mm, anything else new here before we start going back to our place and building some stuffs? Oh, right, right, right. Uh, help to bear. So bear's shop over here, um, primarily selling sand, which none of us enjoy harvesting. All right, uh, diamonds for two sack. I think this is primarily what he's selling is sand. And then I think, yeah, dark logs, <clears throat> dark oak logs, some cobble, cacti, glass. So, um, he's got a little bit of shop over here of things that people don't like to smelt and, and um, harvest. So that's going to be useful in the near future. Um, and he had set up an auto smelter, um, underneath the shop, but ran into some issues with a particular design. Um, and then he has built the smeltery. Bring your own fuel. 
It's a little bit of a utility shop here. Kind of hard to read the signs on uh, black text on dark, dark oak, but uh, please flush before collection. Fuel, 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 raw food. Man. Raw food. Cooked food. Oh, he must have a smoker on this side. I'm trying to take a quick peek down here. Oh, yep, I can see the smoker. Mm -hmm. And then on this side, fuel, raw materials, and output. So uh, he has a little bit of a flush system uh, due to the fact the way the smeltery works. Um, occasionally a couple items can be stuck in the final uh uh, final few blocks going through the smeltery and all you have to do is click, click the flush system the flush button and it will uh, fill in the last bit of uh, or cook the last bit of materials that you have in there it's kind of cool he's got this set up um, you can actually see your your items that once they're done come come up here and collect into the output so yay for that so we've got a, a smeltery set up at in spawn I'm not I'm not sure if he's just gonna make a moat all the way around here or if he was just uh not done with this yet <laughs> who knows uh nothing else news popped up as far as i know uh -uh. nope all this looks the same i'm looking for any random structures popping up over the horizon No. I know over there is Glitter's uh, sort of hotel um, piece that she's been working on. Not sure if she's done with that though. Okay, that's right. That's the big mountain range um, that hasn't rendered in yet. All right. Phew. I'm going to head back to my place. Because we have the new, we have a traveling companion that we saved. I'm going to make sure we get a proper home from him. And then we're going to build on uh, a couple of things that we've talked about in a couple of streams back. We're going to add a couple of knickknacks here and there around our, uh, our little seaside town. And maybe even start on a new structure today. See if we can expand the story of that, that town. All right. Uh, <laughs> All right. Turned around. Thanks, Mr. Slab. <clears throat> He's Marvel Man. We still need to do work on this, but uh, I have a feeling we uh, that will that will soon be coming as we might be going that direction a little bit. Not today, not today. Today we're gonna we're gonna work on like crane today. We're gonna see about the the donk underneath on how this uh, toolsmith shop gets its raw materials to put into you know obviously their smeltery over here. So we're gonna do kind of a. A little bit of a, I guess, uh, cliffside cargo area. We have a big crane hanging over the, the edge here um, where it hauls stuff up from down below. And we'll see if we can add some detail to this side of the cliff. Okay. So, last stream we found uh, like i said a companion um a bee that was in one of the wintry biomes up high in the mountains no idea why um, but we traveled with him to see one of glitter's builds her most recent work and uh tinks delivered us a i guess they're called beehives apiaries what are they called um See what are they call oh beehive okay yeah beehive so we got our our friend in there uh i'm going to get i'm going to name him as well and that's what i was trying to grab is my utility chest or utility utility shulker 
Let's go ahead and name, give him a name real quick. That was weird. I thought I heard a door. <laughs> bee loon. Because he's a bee. And he's like following me around like a balloon. So bee loon. That is our friend's name. We're going to give him some some love there. All right. So uh, where am I going to put the beehive? Good question. Um, I was wandering around here trying to figure out, you know, where I will put it, where it would be. I don't want to do like an entire like beehive apiary type setup. And then I remembered that up here we have this garden with no garden. It was garden space with no garden. So why not? As long as we got flowers around and I can put a couple out, I think um, we can put a little bit of like a tree stump here. I'm gonna put the beehive on it, a couple of flowers around it. Um, and maybe what they, uh, the toolsmiths, uh, they do on their free time is, you know, have a little, they take care of a couple bees. So let's grab, actually that's perfect. Uh, let's put, um, we'll put it like that. A little bit of a tree trunk there. Little roots showing. Hey, Mitra, how's it going? So we'll do something like that, and let's see if I've got any fences nearby. Don't. Nope, so I'm gonna just make some here. We'll do a little bit of a piece sticking out there for a, a bit, a bit of detail. Um, so I was thinking maybe we can put the beehive on top of that, and let's see. Let's grab some bone meal. Um, and I want to make sure lighting is okay up here. So I'm going to grab some, some sea lanterns and some green carpet. But slowly we're going to keep this place lit up and slowly we're going to replace all, all those guys. Cause they're annoying. I love the balloon. <laughs> I might have to make a new emote for him. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's see. Beehive is downstairs with balloon. Uh, let's make sure we grab a couple of flowers and one of these chests. Mm, what do we got here? Got some azure blue. I don't know, blue orchids. I kind of like those. Warped roots is not really a not really a flower. No. Mm, <laughs> loon needs a companion. I can help with that. Sure, thanks. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be opposed to that. Uh, what else we want to put up there? I'm looking at vegetation options. Mm. We're gonna put a little bit of a potted plant. Uh, kind of iffy on vines because they kind of go nuts when placed. All this looks fine. All right, so let's grab some lighting. I think I only need about two. Uh, where's green carpet at? Oh, there it is. Uh, we're dark green or normal green. I uh, we'll actually want to bring a couple extra more flowers. How about some? How about a rose bush? How about some dandelions? He's like the dandelions. <laughs> I don't really want any tulips. I mean, I'm not opposed to it, but all right. And let's grab some bone meal. Okay, and that is a full inventory. <laughs> all right, let's see what we can come up with. I'm gonna try the natural bone meal. Uh, see what it pops up. We'll have to break down a couple of grass stalks. That's fine. All right, so. No, that's not gonna offer enough light. Ooh, I like the tall bush there, okay. Mm, that's okay. Alright, let's see. Rosebush. How about we put you in the corner over here? <laughs> some some extra natural flowers there. 
Oh, I forgot to bring the potted pots or clay pot over. That's fine. We'll grab it in a minute. All right. So this is, do I want it there or over here? I need to make sure there's enough light coverage. You know what? We're going to do this. We're going to put one here, sea lantern, cover that up. And then the other one here. Well, that'll cover back up in grass. Uh, it'll convert back over. That's fine. So we'll do this and this. Cover that in green. Kind of make it hide in there a little bit. Mm, vines. Mm. If I put it anywhere here, it's going to grow over. I could use some string to stop that, but... I just want a little bit of bit, a little bit here and there. And I'm kind of concerned that it'll spread all over my build. Hey, what are you doing? This. Oh, it's a second one. Thank you. Uh, I'm like 50% sure there's three bees in here. Oh. Come on. I didn't really plan for four bees to be over here. <laughs> I was looking for like one or two. Um, hmm. Well, I could. All right, well, this one's bee loons. That's fine. I mean, you can um, make just one and then wait, what? Make one with just one in it if you want. Uh, if you don't want for it no that's it's fine um all right that's Beeloon's uh stump that means you know what how about a nice did you just break my and that works hey why'd you break that Did you know that if you go to my shop, I sell uh, scaffolding tanks? <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, of course it dropped down there. Oh, well, there it goes. Bye, scaffolding. It was nice knowing you. Um. Hi, tanks. <gasps> I can visit. I can visit Batman. Batman. I forgot to change his shirt. Uh, I need to not... Wait, do I have a light drawn? I do. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, how's it going, Pinko? Nice top hat. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, at least this gives me a nice view of... Uh, I do want to play... I, I got... I need to mark out where I'm going to put these builds. Uh, that I'm going to terraform a little bit more out over that direction. Um, <laughs> anyone seen an arrow shaped balloon floating by? Uh, you have two dark spots by my portal. Um, my nether portal? Really? Where at? Uh, I've got the uh, light overlay mod, but I don't if it doesn't work with the uh, shader on. And I don't feel like switching. I see you're holding premium product in your hand. <laughs> Come on, pick up. Thank you. Uh, where do you see dark spots in here? Uh, in that in that corner right there okay um so i can put some snow here you know what hold on let me grab some uh snow real quick be right back uh here no one of these chests has snow uh premium product uh <laughs> i would like to file a formal complaint about the product uh Actually, every time I use it, uh, half of it vanishes. 
Oh, no, no, it, it, I mean, that's, it, it's kind of, you know, the... <laughs> Oh god, I, I can just totally turn that into a sponsorship of my shops. I'm sponsored by. <laughs> uh, Alright, well while I'm here, I'm gonna grab that. Where is... Where's my snow at? Where is, oh, there it is. Snow layers. I'll just grab a couple. That's not a faulty product. Uh, if you make a bee companion, you can name it bee Tho was it bee Tholomew? Tholomew? <laughs> well, for the, the one I, I, I saved, um, uh, the other stream is a bee loon. So, um, but apparently Tinks gave me a beehive with additional bees in it. And so I can name those. All right. Uh, let me see. You got a snow layer. You said in that corner, All right? Or next. Oh, and that one? Oh, weird. Huh. Luckily, I haven't had any issues with anything spawning in here, so yay on that front. Um, I do want to fix this, though. No, oh, well, I didn't fix it. I just made it worse. Mm, I was going to... Eventually going to be a creeper as you come out of the... Yeah, probably. All right, now let us go ahead and put a couple more details in our little garden over here. So, oh, that table right there is going to be the new beehive that Tinks gave me. Beeloon will get his own beehive over here on this special uh, stump. Gets a nice view of, you know, the, the ocean side there. Uh, flowers, let's get the rest of these flowers down. Now, a little bit of there. Those guys are doing good. And you now we're going to switch this one out. That. And where to go? You get to so go there. And then finally, you know, little potted plants and whatnot. We'll put uh, a little spruce sapling there. Small little detail. Wait, what? Uh, pay attention to us. Hey, I'm stuck on something. Ooh, that works. Take that. Uh, what am I paying attention to? Uh, by the way, areas you have two, or two darks. So I already read that. And yeah, Creeper got that. Dark uh, Derek says, okay, time to get the work done uh, by my base. Derek does not actually get the, get said work done. Lifetime warranty. Wait, what? Lifetime warranty for accidental loss and dam uh, damage for scaffolding. Wait, what? I didn't, I didn't offer a lifetime warranty. That costs extra. <laughs> oh crap, I moved. Save me there. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I'm gonna skirt myself across the bottom of these trap doors here. So I'm gonna put B Loon on that, uh, that tree trunk. Uh, put the, uh, beehive that Tinks just gave me. All right, let me fix my, my trap doors. <laughs> Um, okay, you go there. I want to get Beeloon named first so he doesn't get mixed up with all the other ones. So, um, I think this will be fine. It's nice and quaint. All right, let's go get Beeloon. So, Tinks, what is this lifetime warranty supposed to offer here? Because I, I can't do anything about accidental death and, and you know, you guys purposely falling off scaffolding product replacement for lost damage scaffold. I mean, I'm losing the scaffolding. <laughs> uh, all right. Beehive. Now I hope I can just put him down and just name him when he comes out. I don't lose it. It just disappears. <laughs> mm, likely story of it disappearing or didn't happen <laughs> All right. Boop. no uh, is he gonna come out does that be a certain point of day that he comes out uh 
I picked up two random eggs at Air's house and just threw it at uh, the. <laughs> hmm. I think he's a bit shy. I'm afraid to punch it by accident and have it be mad at me. Can you hear anything in there? I don't hear anything. Hmm. Alright. That one goes there. Thanks. Did your beehive eat bee loon? Do bees come out at a certain point of the day? Is that a thing? Uh, when they're done working? Oh. Well, I mean... He did have pollen on his butt uh, when he got sucked in. Yeah, when I originally found him, he had a whole bunch of pollen on his butt. So maybe he's converting that to honey. Uh, then they go in and work uh, toward honey, and then they come out when they're ready to um, more pollen. Okay. Maybe he's doing his thing. Why was he harvesting honey manually makes bees mad? Oh. By manually, you mean, I mean, uh, not doing a man. You're talking about like what hoppers? Can you not use um, dispensers? So what dispensers with glass bottles in it and then a hopper underneath it? I guess. Hmm. Well, I mean, I'm, I don't really plan on harvesting from these these uh, two beehives. This is, these are more more decoration part of the, the town. Um, I wouldn't mind making a little bit more of a, an actual setup. We got the squid overlords watching us uh, watching over us yeah hey, loon. there he goes hey sweet all right we got Beloon. he's happy um, this is our other hive so hopefully these are enough flowers for them to be happy Oh, it's a baby bee. Look. It's a tiny bee. Well, they seem happy. Well, there should be enough flowers here. Yeah, they, they are cute. So there we go. Um, looks like Beelin went went in and got enough pollen. Oh, there's an oh there's two babies. Oh, there's three babies. Well, sweet. So that'll be. Oh, there they go. Oh, he, he was full. Right on. Well, now um, the toolsmiths have a little bit of beehives um, in their garden. So uh, I think that'll be a nice little addition to our town here. And oh, look, you can actually see them over the over the edge, which means when you're down here and look up, you should be able to you know see them pop their heads in and out of the garden and whatnot. Um, I might add couple of flowers a little bit more out just in case, give them a little more travel space i guess and change let's see all right so that was a quick build um that was a, um, a lot of fun uh, just to get it out there but we've got a couple more things i need to clear my inventory for the next part so let's do that real quick I uh, don't need bone meal. I don't need the dirt. I'm gonna change that beat. Mm. 
And that works for now. Uh, let's see. Drop off. Where's my dirt? Dirt. Don't need the fences. Do need the sticks. Oh, forgot to put the dandelions down, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, me too. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, I, quite a few people are running that. It may also be settings that you're playing on. Um, either overly, um, with overly sensitive mouse settings or like head bobbing or uh, field of view. Uh, there are a couple of options around that uh, to kind of get that set up properly. Or not necessarily probably something that won't bug you as much. Okay, uh, right. So I need to grab my spare shulker that I've got on this other side. We're gonna need to grab a couple of materials. Um, so if you can see over here, uh, I'm still using this as a temporary means of growing some of the different types of uh, wood that I need for projects. Like, it, it works, right? It doesn't take long with the haste beacon going because I'm, um, I'm mining... Where's the beacon? Oh, right there. Um, I get to chop through these pretty quickly. So, um, at the moment, I was trying to get some some birch and some spruce. Um, and I switch it out. You know, I don't really put much oak over here because I've got the tree machine, that uh, uh, harvesting machine at the other location. There we go. Just harvesting some woods for the project that is coming up. There's some spare, but I wanted this and this. All right, and then I'm gonna run down to our mine to pick up some materials from down there because I've been busy um, using the beacon down there. So let's go to our mine real quick. So some folks may be familiar with uh, my mine shaft. It's just a big open space that I've mined out uh, with the help of a beacon. Uh, still been putting signs down for slimes, but I have cleared out this entire section over here to try to get a little bit more uh, materials. So I'm going to pre pretty much leave this beacon here for now. Um, and off screen, what I'll do is kind of go skirt the edge on how much I can mine out with it. And once we kind of uh, reach the maximum limit on the radius of this beacon, I'll move the beacon further. I'm gonna probably head, let's see, I'm gonna probably head south with it um, since that's open ocean and not running into anyone's builds or mines, hopefully. Um, I had gone north um, originally, but with uh, Derek and Wisdom in that area, I don't wanna encroach into their mining area. Uh, so I'm going to be heading south with my mines. All right, the reason why I came down here is I've been dropping off all the materials in these chests. Uh, it's just a um, random collection of stuff. Not too shabby. The diamond's already converted over. Uh, I didn't... I'm not really mining for diamonds at the moment. I've been more mining for materials, so... Stone. Stone. You know, the different materials. I blew through a lot of my granite and dorite and andesite on the bookstore shop. Um, so that is a thing. You sell stone, Derek? Um, I have currently a lot of stone, right? Well, I wasn't specifically looking for stone. I was trying to replenish my dorite, granite, and andesite. Byproduct is I mined up a lot of stone. I'm just gonna leave that there. All right, let's grab a couple of these things. I don't need, I might need some dirt. Uh, what else can we do here? Mm, nope. Maybe some andesite on this build. We'll see how that plays out. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Give me a stack. Thank you. Hmm. 
Mm, I'm trying to find a different tune of music in the background. go there okay uh we'll grab a couple of stone because it's gonna this build's gonna require some stone we're gonna need a couple of ooh, i don't have much cobblestone but i suppose i can always make that out of stone so we'll grab a couple extra stone uh wood i've got on me Iron. Well, I can always run to the industrial district. I don't really need any of this stuff. No. Mm. I think we'll be fine on that. I think this is gonna be this will be fine for what we're gonna try to build. Okay. Very bouncy stairs. All right, let's go ahead and head over next to the sort of like a cargo area for our toolsmiths up here. So we're going to build a big crane, or at least attempt to. So, um, I've got a couple ideas on what I want to look like with a counterweight, an extending arm. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, one thing's for sure. The... Oh. Well, one thing's for sure, my uh, pickaxe is way too strong. <laughs> All right, we're going to put our little workshop area back here. So our collection of shulker boxes. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's go put an ender chest down. Mm, here, that sounds good. Let's pull out our utility. Crafting table. Uh, what else we got? Mm, none of those are needed. No. Do need a stone cutter. Uh, stone cutter can go, I don't know, there. And then finally, I think... Hmm... What is this? I'm trying to remember what the um, was it the whetstone? I believe it's called. What do I need for that? Uh, I thought it was half slabs. Am I just blind? All right. I'm actually have to look this up because I don't remember. Uh, grindstone. Oh, right, right. I actually need uh, lumber on me. There we go. Uh, da, 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 da. I got st two sticks. I got sticks. Half slab and then two pieces of... Oh. Two pieces of wood. One, two, one, two, one, two. Huh. I must have just missed it in the crafting grid. That's fine. Okay. So I know I want at least two of those. Um, part of the build. I'm just gonna place them down just so I don't forget them. Um, I do need to extend this cliff side a little bit. Give us a little bit more room. So we're gonna do that. It's gonna look flat up here, which is fine. And it's going to look weird from underneath because I don't have any support structure, but I want to at least get a shape going on up here. Uh, I like how this connects over here, so we're going to extend that direction. And again, I'm just going to place a couple blocks here to get a general idea and shape. And we can put the arm or the crane itself about here going over the edge. 
Okay, I'm gonna need myself a little bit more room. And we'll do something about this cliff side back here, maybe like a retaining wall, uh, similar that I've done at, uh, at spawn or down around um, these edges here. I think I'm gonna keep that feel uh, through our builds. It would actually be kind of nice to have that connected um, to the staircase over here. I think that might work out well. Uh, Cause we're probably gonna have to bite into this a little bit if I'm gonna get this size right. All right, uh, let's drop off a couple of these things. I'm going to have to experiment a little bit on how I want things built. I do know the diorite. I want at least four of these. That's polished. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Um, I want to do this. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So if I start here... I want at least a foot, a, a, a five foot base. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, I'm gonna have to bite into the mountain. It's all good. Hey, look cool. All right, we're gonna bite into this. We can do some terraforming, uh, clean this up later. But for now, I wanna make sure I have enough room for this build. This may actually come in handy for some detail later, so I'm going to mine this up. Oh. <clears throat> mm. Here, the toolsmith's going busy in there. Let's see, I want you to be there. Now, I think that's going to be a big enough base. Now we need to build it up. Got to use, you know, logs. There's not, no planks on this, on this part. It's got to be sturdy. Um, we'll make it a little bit bigger. All right, let's make this a stone base. Sir, thank you. And now, let's see, how do we want to do this? Let's, let's bring it in just a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and just put some scaffolding up here. I'm going to need it. We're going to do this a little bit live. Um, so I have not designed this in my creative world. We're just going to see what we can come up with. So I think something here. Okay. And let's do this. And you know what? Oh, no, that's not what I want to do. We're going to do this for some cross beams. Okay, and then I want to bring it in one more. Hmm, how are we going to do this? Let us... Uh, let's use a stone slab here. Oh, perfect. Mm, all right, what options we got with our stone cutter here? Do any of these, would any of these actually fit? One of those will. Okay, I've got an idea. We're gonna do We'll see how well this plays out. Let's 
so this arm, this crane, right? We're gonna have to, I'm trying to design, trying to design a cool, you know, a, a sort of a platform that can rotate in all intents and purposes in Minecraft, if that was a thing. So I'm trying to make it look somewhat believable. Um, let's, let's do, let's do this. And I want, I want this middle one here. Nope. Mm, okay. So maybe what we do is we lower that one. I actually do want that to stick out. So think of like a, a big grinding wheel, right? Um, on where everything is rotating off of. So that'll be our center sort of axis there. Okay. Um, and then down here, we'll add some more detail, um, bracing and whatnot. But for now, that's not much you can see from this angle. Okay. You know what? Let's let's add detail down, but down below first then. Um. Hmm. You know, oh, hello, random. Oh, right, because it's, <laughs> I haven't put anything underneath here. I think what we could do Yeah, okay, I got, an, I got an idea. Let us what type of bracing do we want on this one? More stone-like bracing or wood-like bracing? Mm. We will mix it up just a little bit here. One, two, three, four. And then let's go with a couple of fence gates or fences. I don't know why I'm putting that in the stone cutter. I was think I was on the crafting bench. Mm -hmm. You know, I actually really need a couple more than that. Okay, let's make the base here a little bit more beefy. A little bit of bracing, right? Uh, let's do something like this here. And then dirt or grass blocks. But that will conveniently turn over to path blocks. All right, and then what next, what next? I'm trying to capture all the ideas as I go for some of this stuff, so. We're gonna put a beam down here, and then, mm, a little post work, okay. And this is where, you know, people come up here and they can help rotate it and, and pull, you know, rotate the top, top portion of, of our, of our crane. I don't really have a, any better idea because we can't, trap doors isn't going to connect to, oh, you know what? I know what can work. Not trap, how about not trap doors? How about gates? Gates may work. I mean, it's different. So you kind of push push on that side, and have, you know, and this is where the worn path is. I'm going to swap out um, some of this uh, stone here to make sure it's a proper pathway. Show wear and tear from people being underneath here. 
Um, but I think we've got a base. I want to do something with these corners. It's too much. Mm. All right, I think that's a bit much. So let's switch over to, oh, I still got some stairs. Let's do that. A little bracing in the corner. We got there. We haven't built the actual crane portion yet. Uh, I'm still going to need. Oh, I'm still going to need to move this wall back some. So let's do that. Well, at least two. Give us a little more room. I can always build it back if uh, I take on way too much. So. Mm, yeah, we'll go back one more at least. And I want a bit, a bit of a curve, because uh, you know the crane has to have room to rotate. And we'll just do that for now. Um, and then, oh, that's still gonna be a tight fit. No, nope, we're doing one more. Okay, at least that gives us some breathing room, so I'm okay with that. Drop off some of our supplies. I keep my inventory somewhat organized. Okay, so now let me take this down. What we what I want to work on is the main body of the crane, then an extension arm that goes out, uh, counterweight on the back side. Hmm. How we're we gonna do this? So let us. You know what? I'm gonna put that scaffolding back up because I'm gonna need need it back up there. Look long. That makes. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out the height on on what I want to do this at. All right, we're gonna play, place a couple placeholders up here. So I want bodies of this contraption is gonna be sitting. Here, then I need the needed it to at least come out from here. Okay, so I know I'm rambling a little bit here. As I, again, I'm trying. My thoughts around this is kind of building it on the fly. Oh, this is gonna be a problem. Oh nope, there we go. Ramblecraft. <laughs> Alright, is that too big or is that gonna work? Let's see. How far are you extending? Mm, I need to raise that up by at least one. Yep, 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 yep. So I want it to come out from this height, uh, which means I need to tear all this down again. And I'm definitely going to collect that wood. <laughs> all right. Uh, the wood bottom one there is fine. We'll do something with that. So what I'm trying to do is make sure I've got enough, at least believable clear, clearance for down below. And I think, I think that's a good, good length there. And then obviously it looks, you know, off kilter right now because, well, that looks weird. So I'm going to have a body, uh, like a, a brace here. 
in this location, this center part. Behind it, I want a counterweight. We're going to add detail uh, to the crane arm itself. All right. Well, that's going. Well, I'm thinking about that. Let me go ahead and collect my wood. Uh, any more? Nope. And then the shelf here. We're gonna add, we're gonna add more to this cliff side. Is that all of it, or did more drop down there? Oh, there it is. Wee. Hey, fish. All right, well, rockets just don't want to listen to me, so I will try it myself up. Let's try that again. <laughs> there we go. Hey, pig. So what type of view are we looking at? So when you come out of the, the port... Ooh, right, yeah. I don't have a nice presence. You come out from the ice cave right and you're gonna see his big crane maybe have some cargo hanging off the edge of it that'd be kind of nice that'll work that'll work okay and let us let's see what can we do about this um we don't have an idea yet for the main sort of body area here so let's work with a cleaner slate. Uh, I want, let's see, what do I want here? Um, you know what, let's try this stone. Let's see what we can do with this. So let's give, us, give ourselves a little bit of a platform, something like that. And then, What if we do Let's see? Um mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. And then we need somehow the back portion to be connected. So what happens if we do something like a platform back here? And then, and then, and then. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. Well, it's, it's getting something. It's getting there. We'll make it work. All right, so I want... I want a platform back here. Hmm, not sure I like that shape. Yeah, I want, I need to extend this back at least one more. There we go. That way it's not, oh, well, that way it doesn't look like it's just connected straight to the center portion. Um, what about, let's give this a little bit more depth. So we'll swap that out for some uh, upside down stairs. There we go. A little bit of bracing. Okay. And then we can do... Let's see. Um, 
this middle portion in here is not done yet. I'm just trying to get ideas. Let us, you know, let's grab some cobblestone. Also, let's grab our redstone. Make sure we, we if there's any ideas. Oh, I just got one. That works. Okay. Uh, where's my cobblestone? Cobblestone. So if I put a bundle of rocks back here. And I use rails. make it look like it's tied being tied held down okay well you're not going to be really being seen much well other than the fact you're staring in the sun and your retinas just are now gone um you you're not going to be able to see much on the counterweight which is fine but i think that gives a feel for that Unfortunately, I can't put the rails right on the side facing of the, uh, um, on it. Otherwise, I'd make this maybe a bit larger, but it does look like they're being it's being held down. Okay, so oh, I totally missed that jump. So I need to do something about the center body area. Mm, what options have we got here? Oh, not that one. Let's grab. Two of those. Four of those. Let's see what we can do with that. Oh, uh, anything in the redstone for possible ideas? Mm. Ooh. Uh, I did have an idea. What about... Uh, what are they called? Smoker? Oh, I, need, I need a furnace for that. I don't know if I can actually make a furnace. I'm just trying to think of different blocks that have different details and whatnot. Furnaces may actually be a good... Good idea too. Uh, let's see, furnace, and then it's surrounded by some oak or some wood. Wood planks of any type? No? Or is it just logs? I bet you it's logs. Yep, there you go. Sweet. Uh, we are going to change out. This, these four down here. <laughs> What's the back side? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, just add a little bit of detail, right? There we go. I think that's also a nice transition. Looks like bracing. Cool. Cool. Now up there. What can we get away with? slabs bring this down a little bit 
and then put a cap on top of this maybe Mm, we want it just there, or do we want a full cap on it? Alright, and then we need to do something about those, since those were temporary blocks. I don't want to make it all out of smooth stone, but it is kind of working. I like the idea of maybe each one of these corners, at least, turning into the chiseled. Could get creative with some stone wall. I still have some great. Okay. One thing at a time. And we'll just make a couple of spare things here and there. How about some oak? more oak fences will do us good? I need to make sticks first. Yeah, I'll probably use a lot of sticks. All right, uh, that gives us a couple of building blocks to play around with. So first things first, I want to go ahead and replace at least this back one. Now, how can we get that transition from there to there? I wonder if I put a block. <clears throat> if I put a block over here, upside down stair. Oh, come on. Let me place my scaffold. Thank you. Hmm. Yeah, I was worried about that. Okay, not doing that. What if... I fall off my scaffolding. What if... Hmm. All right, let's, let's see. We're, we're going to play around with this a little bit here. Okay, well, that's... I mean, that's shaping into something. I'm not sure if the, exactly what yet. And let me break my ankles. Um, it might work if I put the other chiseled one there. Or... Or I can just place that twice and didn't mean to. Mm, what do I got going on up there? Half slab? What if I do... Upside down stair that back mm, it doesn't really connect okay um now let's try an upside down not upside down stair but uh what about what about this angle that means they should connect okay there we go so now we got a corner stair there this piece is bugging me. Let me step back here. I want... Oh, you know what? I think... I think I need, I need some, okay. 
we're just I'm running into a visual issue. So I think if I put a bracing, like an up, upside down stair there, I think that's going to help um, with this body support structure. And actually, oh, I just got an idea. I just got an idea. And we're going to grab one of you. Okay, so what happens if we do this? I do put you here. Um... what we did on that side to this side. Which I believe is the upside down stair. Mm -hmm. Did I already do that? Nope. I'm duplicating this side, all right. All right, so I've got upside down stair on this top and then forward facing upside down. Oop. And then these two should be a wall, right? One, two. And then this is a chisel block. What do I have? It's a downstairs. Okay. Q. And I think that gives us a good shape. I'm okay with this block here because I have uh, other plans to cover this. Not just to cover, but give it detail. So the reason why I've got this wheel here is actually I'm treating it as a pulley because I'm going to have another one on that end. And in between the two, I'm going to run a chain uh, horizontally across, as well as running a chain in between uh, to the back and to kind of make it look like it's mechanical in nature. Um, I think that's going to work. Okay. All right. Um, and then bracing. Yep, 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 yep. Cool. All right, let us try to add some more detail. Okay, um, so I want to get the other uh, grinding wheel over there. I want to get a chain running across. Um, I don't have any chains on me, so I need to make some real quick. Oh, chains. Are those made out of nuggets? I can't remember now. Oh. I might need more than that. Probably more than that. <laughs> Let me run to the industrial district real quick um, and grab some more iron. Two thirds of the roof is finally done. Yay! Eric is making progress on his build. Just 
take that down. Let's see what this looks like. Okay. All right. It, it's, I think I need to, add, I want to add a little bit on top of that center to differentiate the height um, from sort of the main controlling body area uh, from the counterweight back here. I think that'll be fine. And then... Is that arm long enough? Mm, we will, we shall see. Okay, let us grab some more iron. I like the way it's turning out so far. So I'm cool with that. All right, uh, let's do a quick hop over to the industrial district, grab some iron so we can make some more chains and some iron gates I'll give that a little bit more support and while i am teleporting here i'm going to get some water mm -hmm. uh, this way Ooh. okay we're gonna do that and then we're gonna take a, a quick detour um because i do want to check out progress on uh derek's build uh we did um uh, did a little work with him on some ideas on last stream um but also i want to check out uh tinks's progress because i know she has been busy in her area too so i may do a quick uh detour and check out to see what they're doing all right what weird lighting effect all right, let's make our way over to our iron farm. Look, I'm already using the catwalk. Derek, you can't wait till uh, I see Tinks of Storage. Well, cool. I haven't seen it yet. So um, yesterday, what not yet, was just what well, last stream. Um, all I saw was they call Sam. So if her storage is taking up the gladiatorial section of the Coliseum, I'm going to be disappointed. <laughs> All right. Uh, which one of these is filling up? This one. We'll just grab a few stacks. Oh, and totally random side note, this dude over here has been brutal to the villagers. Holy crap. My proc chance on him turning into a zombified uh, villager versus well, being unalived. Uh, he has unalived way too many villagers that I can count. I've spent way too much time over here getting all these villagers set up. I mean, I'm glad I got them set up. Now I can pretty much get any enchantment other than the two I'm missing right now, which I'll get later. But now I remember why I have not really done that many times over on different servers. <laughs> All right. Up we go. Across we go. Through the portal we go. Say hi to the horse. Hi, horse. Come on, portal. Okay. Well, I know that there. I was about to say, I know that's one of my markers. Um, I believe it's this one, the bigger portal. We'll find out. Ooh. Hey, Derek. How's it going? <laughs> nice face. N nice surprise face there. I'm actually surprised that Minecraft does not offer the, uh, well, other than wearing other people's heads, but having sort of like an emote um, actions. I know there are mods that add that to it. 
I would love to see it actually brought into the game. You have a beacon in the middle of your uh, your base. Nice prominent spot. Mm -hmm. Actually, I, even paid, I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, it's temp. You know, you could like do a line of beacons and go, you know, straight up and... <laughs> Alright, so what have you been working on over here? You've made quite a... F oh, look. Sir, your cobblestone infection has spread. It's, it's slowly winning over the grass, it's pushing it into the corner. That's right. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. There we go. Yeah, let me back up here. Mmm, yes. Okay, so I see how you brought in the smaller arches underneath. Got big columns up front. Much more in scale. Yep, I agree. And I think that's going to be really, so that's going to be, that's your front entrance. Is that right? Broke up the windows. Yep. I see that. Yep. Give it a little bit of texture and depth. Front entrance. Okay. And um, do you know what you're going to do on the two wings? Or are you going to try carrying the smaller archway designs across to the, the side ones. Uh, the front two wings will be more simple. Okay, yeah, no, that makes sense. You want that grand entrance uh, for a build like that, for like a build like this, so that, that totally makes sense. Think about filling in the curves completely. Mmm. Okay. Yeah, I can see heating this place with this many windows would be a pain in the butt, or even cooling it for that matter. <laughs> okay, so I'm presuming there'd be like a doorway right at the bottom of the stairs going in each direction maybe? And technically, you can split this in half and to be two separate hallways, sort of this underneath stair, sort of pass, you know, have some rooms or something like that. And then maybe, maybe this isn't a room. Um, oh, that would, that's Nick's talking. I don't know. I can see a lot of potential ideas here. All kinds of different rooms. Yep. Ooh, are you going to make like a greenhouse behind your house? get the wall built first yeah G glitter i was building library builds before it was cool that's how you sound right now i don't even know if glitter is paying attention on the stream <laughs> nice well you've got plenty of room to build back here Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I always enjoy watching, well, seeing other people making progress on their builds. Um, not sure what you plan on doing with your ceilings because they're massive. <laughs> but they look really cool. Like, I can't wait to see what this is going to look like all um, actually with the walls and windows in place um, with the shaders, because I know you're running the same shaders that I'm running. Um, so you and I are seeing the same thing. A lot of big shamblers. Hmm. Yeah. True. I mean, that would be fitting to the build. So that makes sense. Cool. Well, Derek, I like what you do at the front. Nice solution. I, I think the idea of uh, giving depth to the windows helps out a lot too. What'd you do? Every other okay, yeah, you staggered them back and forth. Yep, yep.
Oh, sweet. Hey, tanks. How's it going? Look at that scaffolding right there. What the? <laughs> um. Like 97 pressure? Um, I have no idea what they're doing. Okay. Hey, Tinks. How do I get to your place? I want to see your place. Let's see what progress you've made. Hi, horsey. All right, I'm going up here. Going through the portal. In the portal. Um, yeah. Oh, she's over there. Wee. What is going on? Hey, Derek. What is going on here? Derek, do you see this? There's like... I'm seeing like a light source here. Oh, never mind. I fixed it. I think it's just residual light torches that may have been out here. Oh, for a second there, I thought the chunk wasn't... Wow, it is right in here. It's also very hot. I feel I feel like I'm melting. Melting. Mm. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Now I know I I, I'm, I was I peeked at uh, the terracotta design that you were, um, that you got going on here. Are you um, so obviously you got the, the sort of four uh, cardinal directions on this. Are you planning on carrying over any sort of like filler design to each one of these little patterns you have, or are you going to leave it as a white floor or whatever color that is? I, the blue coming through the glass is throwing me off. Don't know yet. Uh... Looks like a compass. It'd actually be kind of a, that'd be kind of sort of like chevrons. Some way you can because those look like little ticks, yeah, on uh, on the every quarter or was it every eighth or something like that for on the compass. That looks kind of cool. You got your stairs down there, the little V-shaped ones. Um, is there a reason why you went with the V-shape rather than like a like a, I guess a curve that follows the inner circle. Mm, because the whole thing is curved and I wanted something sharper to stand out. Well, it definitely stands out. Yep. And then I'm presuming we're standing on the start of your, your another floor. Oh, you need to fill it. Are you going to fill the center of it or the, the outer edge? Center will be open. Okay. That way you can get the big glass dome. How do you think this glass dome was manufactured in a, in, in a factory? Do you think they won massive mold? It was built piece by piece. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yep. No, I get it. I'm just trying to figure out the logistics of a dome. This thick... I mean, because... What is... The, um, a Minecraft block is one meter watt? One by... Uh, one meter by one meter by one meter. Is that right? So 3.3 .3 feet. That is a big, big amount of... Uh, a big dome with a lot of glass. Can you imagine the weight? <laughs> It's impressive. Okay. Um, I know you wanted to check out your inventory system. 
69 meters wide. 69 blocks wide or 69 meters wide? Oh, uh, well, no. One block's one meter. Okay, right, right, right. Yep, I gotcha. It's <laughs> tearing into the surprise face. <laughs> What's back here? Oh, I started moving over some of your stuff. But I didn't do anything. <laughs> what? It was, look, there's a little, there's there. If you didn't want me to see this, you would have put a wall right here. <laughs> I heard, I heard my, a mine carts back there. I had to investigate. Okay, so this is your your inventory. Mm, do you? Oh, I I can see through here. I can see the redstone. I smell redstone. It's back there. <laughs> gonna stab me. So I'm presuming you got filters to the top and bottom click um, of each set. Do you have for each item, or are you kind of grouping them based on? No, you know, you've got a lot of them. Okay. First round. Okay, I see. Is this your office? You've got a nice uh, computer screen there. Futuristic. You have a diamond mouse. Mm hmm. Here, I, I see. Fuel into smelt. Smelt item return. Huh. It actually looks like a really comfy, uh, like, chair couch. Someone's got diamonds. Mm hmm. Just showing off the, the diamond blocks all over the place. Even look, there's some em emeralds there. All the bling. Yep. Right there. I do like that lamp, though. Uh, you sleep in a closet? <laughs> Did you spend all your money in your office and forgot about your bed? Oh, night is scary. <laughs> yeah, so, oh, so, so it's a, like a hideaway bed. Oh, that's not a bed. It's also kind of just... I, I do have to call out you have a rotating saw right behind your chair <laughs> just don't lean back too far got some employees that get out of line nice mm, you got shulker unloader inventory dump okay right right on so you've got all that stuff integrated Sweet. Hey, this is, there's no like, are you going to put like a, a fence here? Just look, I just broke my ankles. I can sue you. I can hire a lawyer. There's a lawyer on this server. I lost hearts. <laughs> uh, they keep that ledge so you can jump off. <laughs> well, nice. I like what you did with it. These kind of remind me of shrunks. Sort of the, the big in wall cabinets. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I like what you did. Very modern looking in here. Ooh. Yep. Nice, nice job. I'm going to find the parts I'm not supposed to look at. <laughs> Ow. I want her to have an office fit for the richest lady on the server. <laughs> so, Tinks, um, what? Okay, so if that's your office, that's the staircase. Are you planning on having like a grand entrance on down on this edge? Is that what you're thinking? 
Oh yeah, on this side. What's the view like over here? You know, honestly, you should keep it the small door. Yep. This big build. You're a small, tiny door. <laughs> oh, okay, so the ocean is just south of the south of you. Okay. Oh, right on. I think I like the color palette. Looks like a big UFO walking inside here, though. Bomb. Bomb. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Hold on. And connected to that, uh, the outer ring will be uh, a big garden that goes into the ocean. Oh, right on. Sounds like you're going to have your hands full on this build for quite some time. Now, how do I get... Well, thanks for showing that off. Nice job, you two. I'm going to... I think the portal's up here. Yep. It's not crashing the things. Or that. Oh, right. You have... Well, I forgot you put bubble invaders in your columns. Hey, Derek. In the columns? Yeah. Yep. Good hiding spot. Cool. All right. I am going to back to, I'm going to build something less luxurious and go back to my crane. <laughs> I have to have my shield on around you. Um, bears asking how to get more banner patterns. Yeah, well, looks like Tinks is going to answer. Um, it does vary. All right, we're, oh, right, go back to our portal. All right, let's see, brought over some iron so we can make some chains so we can see about, excuse me, adding some detail to that. That came out of nowhere, just started yawning. All right, what I want to do here. So my my plan is I want to put an end cap on that, put another grinding wheel underneath, run a chain horizontally and then down as well. I hope, let's see, let's make sure we've got enough. I want to, I'm still a little hesitant on whether or not we've got enough uh, enough clearance. Uh, how about, let's go here. Let's grab some oak logs. Yeah, grab a couple more. And I do want to add a little bit of bracing to this as well, so. If I had an end cap here. Mm, one, two, three. Yeah, okay, we're gonna make it one more longer. Add an end cap. All right, one, two, and then I wanna add somewhere in the middle. Uh, do I want it in the middle or do I want it? I don't need it all the way in the middle. How about right there? Doesn't need to be exact. What we're going to do here is we're going to try to create a uh, sort of a bracing. Maybe connect it back here somehow. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Mm, we'll go with that right now. We're not we're, we're not at that part yet. I want to add this this sort of detail with the chain here. Uh, easiest way you're gonna do this is not actually using scaffolding because it's it's not gonna reach that far out. So let's grab some of this stone.
this all oh crap i need to grab the grinding wheel or the grindstone I forgot to grab that Oop. all right almost there so what i want to do is add the grindstone here 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 i'll this is what my thought process is there, right? So it's like a pulley. Um, at least that's what I'm trying to pull it off as. Um, and then we're going to use this chain. Sort of like that. And then another chain going down. Now, I'm not going to uh, bring, bring this all the way down yet. But the idea is that I can have like a... I don't know, a platform that's bringing up materials. Oh, that, that, that's, that's looking pretty cool. I like how that, I already like how that's looking. And then, just because no one will ever see it, but I know it will be here. grab another block sometimes it's the detail that even people don't see that I like so we'll say sort of the gearbox for all this uh, move this out of the way Right. That's where the, the chain is kind of running running through. No one will ever see it because I'm about to cover it up. But I know it's there. <laughs> Alright, I think that's going to look pretty good. Uh, once I, I'm going to probably lower this further down than have sort of like a... Uh, I guess a platform being raised uh, with some goods on it. I uh, still want to add some detail to the rest of this. It's a shame that I can't do... Kind of the diagonal we've got going here with these uh, rails. Can't do that with the chains. So... Uh, I'm going to have to be a little bit creative on how I'm going to pull off. So I, I want some bracing. Uh, connecting to actually the each side of these uh, going and then connecting to this platform back here mm. I'm thinking I'm thinking Getting a little bit of detail Okay, that's not gonna go. I'm gonna put those on the side there. Mm, nope, nope, okay. I do want to get some spruce slabs on the top of this, or spruce um, trapdoors. Uh, the design that the texture they have on them I think work really well because of the little nails. Um, uh, in them, and I think that little extra detail is just gonna add, just gonna sell it. So we're gonna do that. Mm. Let's make a couple more. Okay, um, this is the connecting piece. We'll add some more detail around that. We can't really do it on on the side or on the bottom because the chain's there, which is fine. Oh my god, son, what? Why? Let me go on this side. 
All right, and then let us... All right, let's figure out the connection point on, on that. Um, we'll go with stone wall first. Let's grab some oak fence. I think that might be our best bet. Well, we'll see how this plays out. So one there, one there. And then what would it look like? I just, so those don't connect. Uh, I was really hoping it would. All right, fine. Oh, nah. Mm. Mm. No, don't want that connect there. So one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four. Uh, okay, and we'll bring it up one more. Three in. And then let's go something like this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, and then we're going to have, let's see, go with these logs. We need that and that. Cross there and then find, oh, crap. I forgot the last piece. Well, it's, it's becoming something, that's for sure. <laughs> um, I th okay, I'm going to need to connect. Uh, here, uh, where's, where's that? All right, let this, I want to put a little, little cake toppers pole toppers, whatever you want to call them. My crane has cake toppers now. Because <laughs> I can't remember the name. Oop. Oop. Okay. Oh, uh, I don't have any half slabs on me. I want to bring... I want to raise that up with a half slab. Um, I might... You know what? We're going to stick with uh, just a smooth slab. Since that's kind of what we're using as, as the bracing material. I don't know why I just did that. I can just... Can I not fit through there? Fine. All right, so we're going to do that there. And then this piece, I want to brace this. Oh, I'm not bringing any of the blocks I need up here. upside down hopper might work somewhere but what um mm, mm. it's a piston possibly working somewhere though now i'm just looking at just random parts that we can add some detail to Mm, not 
the direction I wanted you to point. Okay, does that look any better rather than the... Sold on that. I think the log may actually work better on that part. However, this one might work up there. Yeah, let's let's see what that looks like. So maybe if we. I'm gonna need to put a block there. Uh, take that off. Put that there. Drop this back down. Yeah, I like that. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just trying to add a little bit of detail here. So block there. Yeah, kind of joins the, the wood being um, and the stone being connected together. So I like that. I think it's a decent transition and we will run with it. How are we looking? Oh, now the sun's on that side. <laughs> I forgot a block. Uh, I did want to put something there though. I think. Yeah, let's one last look before I do that. Yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let us add. We'll use the stone stairs since those have been working pretty well. And we're just adding a little bit of bracing there. Since a lot of tension is from the, the actual arm, the crane arm. Bring those back. And then we're doing the same thing on this side. Oh. Or, you know, I can just squeeze myself underneath my crane. Da, 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 da. How about right there? Yep. Yeah. All right. So that gives a little bit of support against the logs since, you know, the stress force of it being pulled by what the weight is. The counterweights, I'm obviously helping. Uh, it is weighed down by this main structure. You know, just using your imagination a little bit on how daily life here may work and how, you know, how people get stuff up here. And what is. There's someone flying up there. It was flying. Okay, so I believe... Let me take this down. We've got ourselves a crane. Now, I still got a little bit more work to do. Um, I want to... Yeah, this I don't want to happen. So we're going to probably move this wall back a little bit. So, you know, it looks like it can actually rotate and swing around. Because, you know, it, it the arm extends out. Right, we'll say the arm is retractable or whatnot, and that way it can, uh, when it rotates, you know, drops off its goods here, right? And I'm, I think I'm going to raise up a little bit of a platform, not too tall, uh, with some stairs coming down, push this wall back, have a, you know, the pathway um, through here. I might even... Hmm... Should there be an entrance? Right. I mean, because this is the primarily the the toolsmith uh, crane here. 
I foresee, you know, another crane up there or down below um, as we build stuff. Hmm. I agree, Mr. Toolsmith. I heard you in there. But I want to say um, this has turned out pretty well. Let me take a, let's see if I can get a good, good vantage point here. So a couple things. So let's first take the vantage point from coming out of the portal. What does this look like? All right. Not that the appearance should change just because of, you know, someone walking through the portal, but I'm kind of curious what you get presented with. Oh, yeah. So one thing it might make me do, though, <clears throat> is I might have the cargo platform that it's raising just peek over over this rail a little bit. So that'll give me an idea of where I want the cargo to be kind of hoisting at the height of, of it because I want I want to I want to I want to have some of that interest as someone comes out of this portal um and just the same reason why you know, I went and I built this here I wanted to make sure you could see you know the lumber mill down below now over here we this is still a lot of work in progress so there's no interest but um as we add things you know I want I want people to be greeted with a town that looks alive Including, you know, meeting Inko on top of the roof, playing as Batman. Cool. I like this. Ooh, ooh. Final touches. Final, final touches. As you know, cranes have to have this. Um... <laughs> Totally silly thing. I'm just gonna do that. Areas you need to check some of Sean's big storage area. Um, at some point, it's awesome. Oh, I didn't realize he was working on a big storage area. I will definitely have to check that out sometime. <laughs> Well, that's gonna stay down hopefully he's been working on a lot of stuff yeah i've i've i don't want to say i've purposely avoided looking at his stuff because i just didn't know what state it was in but yeah I'll, I'll definitely check out his stuff um that should be there and there should be one there and i didn't make one crap let us do that real quick All right, and I believe we have a basis, a foundation, a basic, whatever word you want to call a uh, crane uh, for our area over here. I might uh, play around with it a little bit off stream um, with some little detail, you know, uh, maybe buttons on the side for like um, showing like um, what do they got like spi iron spikes for support and whatnot but i really like how this turned out not bad for just kind of winging it as for lighting uh i might hide a couple of like glowstone mm, somewhere where mobs don't decide to want to just spawn all over my all over this place not that saying that my place right now is spawn proof in the first place but if i can minimize some of that that'd be great <laughs> Right, let's drop off some of this stuff. Uh, redstone box. Go in there. Let's replenish the iron. Where is all right, wood? Stone products. Easy peasy. I will put the iron in there as well because I'm not. I have a feeling I'm not gonna be done um, doing stuff using that. Uh, maybe oh that does look nice uh, let's get rid of the sliding here real quick i know it's a bit dark but i think with some strategic lighting we'll just do this for now mm-hmm I like the, the nice, the, the redstone torch touch. Uh, let's see what it looks like from down below. 
uh from my backyard or uh well, if i can jump over this retaining wall back in my house and now it's daytime okay yeah yeah you can see it we're gonna build um sort of like a, a little bit of a harbor um boardwalk down below as well we still need to build up the cliff side there and then what about from our wharf down here well yeah mm -hmm. we're slowly bringing life to it to this area I like that so still need to add a platform like I said, I need to build that, uh, build in that cliff face. We've got um, down below a little bit more to build, but yeah. And I'd like to spend a little bit more quality time in our area. Everyone else has been working around the, their bases. Um, I've been still playing a little bit a uh, game of catch up with like the shops. Uh, I think my, the the last shop I built, the bookstore shop, has just taken up a lot of my time. But we finally finished that, which means I get to play around a little bit more in my area. Oh yeah. See, that looks really cool. Just coming around this corner. And speaking of which... Mm, 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 do I have anything to change on here? Nope, 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 nope. Alright, so these are still my, on my list of to-dos. Yep, All right, just making sure. Awesome. I believe we're going to go visit Eluna up here. See how he's doing with his friends. Look at that, honey. Ooh, Beeloon's been busy. Nice. Oh, you can see the honey drops. That's kind of cool. Good thing there, are no, there aren't ants <laughs> in Minecraft. Awesome. Well, I believe... Boop, 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 boop. Folks, I believe we're going to call it a stream. I appreciate you guys hanging out. Um, I believe we've got quite a fit, uh, quite a bit done. Look, we got a, a little a bee garden done for the toolsmiths. We've got a crane built up. We got a chance to check out Lay's progress in uh, Derek's and uh, Tinks's build. Um, and I'm floating. <laughs> uh all right with that with me floating uh i'm gonna say this is the end of the stream hey batman um and i hope you guys have a lovely lovely evening and i will catch you guys on the next stream and i will catch you guys later bye